you have a fascinating, and I think it's on Amazon, right? Well, Amazon is Amazon is the, the studio. This, okay. But the film is called Chirac. It'll be it will be Amazon's first theatrical release. It will be in the theaters before it goes to Amazon. Prime. Now that's Netflix and Amazon have totally changed the game, changed, right? The game changes. The game changes. Changes and the audience and the studios are worried about them too. Of course, they should be worried right. about them. So you come out with a movie called Chirac. It's a combination. Chirac. Chirac. Right. It's a combination of Chicago. Right. And Iraq, which now, is coined by local Chicago rappers. I not make this up. It's coined. That term is coined by local Chicago rappers who still feel that Iraq is safer than Chicago. The South Side of Chicago. The South Side. Let's 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 go deep diving on that. Um, Chicago now is, isn't it the nation's? Chicago's a homicide capital, United States of America, and mass murder. Mass murder capital, United States of America. What happened? Well, there's a whole lot of things have gone on. It's a very complex situation there. Historically, Chicago has always had have had a, a big gang influence and uh, things just getting out of control there. <coughs> Excuse me. They so, have pretty tight gun laws in Illinois. They, they do, but you get you get in the car half an hour, you're in Indiana. Uh, so that's where the guns come from. It's just like in New York. New York is very, very tight. New York City is very, very tight guns, but the guns come from Florida, Georgia, Virginia, so they come from the south of New York City. So in this movie... Um, the premise is fascinating to me. Let's start there. Well, the premise came comes from 411 BC. I wasn't That's, around. <laughs> uh, the great the great Greek playwright Aristophanes wrote a play called Lysistrata, and in this play, it's a satire. In this play, Leek, the lead, the main character Lysistrata, forms. She's tired of the war that's going on. Mm -hmm. And she gathers women and, and starts a movement where they withhold sex from their men. Until the war stops. Until the war stops. So we took that premise from 411 B.C. and moved it to contemporary South Side Chicago. And it, it starts there, takes to Chicago, and spreads throughout, spreads throughout the United States and the rest of the world. Women withholding sex yes. for peace. Yes. Um. I find Chicago, my wife has a history in Chicago, spent a lot of time there in the hospitality business. Right. It's an incredible city. Um, Chicago's a great city, but also Chicago's, all, Chicago's also the biggest, America's biggest segregated city, too. So you could really go back to Charles Dickens, the tale of two cities. I mean, like the north side. The north side and the south side. And it's segregated. And it's funny because uh, while we were shooting, while we were filming Chirac, it's amazing. I was there for NFL draft, 250,000 people in Grand Park. I was shooting there. I was filming there while the Grateful Dead had the last five concerts. I was there for a lot of Palooza. And so, I mean, you couldn't get a hotel room, a restaurant reservation, anything. But the South Side of Chicago is like... Is, is, is totally different. Didn't feel like it was part of those celebrations? It's a different world. It's a different world. You're from Brooklyn. New York's never felt that way for me. I come from a small town. I always felt welcome in New York. I talked about this a couple days ago on the show. Uh, uh, Harlem has changed, has it not, in New York City? Well, look, I'm not here. This, I don't want to get into this New York City-Chicago battle, but there are a lot of things wrong in New York City. And one of the things that's really affecting New York City, but all of America, is gentrification. Because the thing about gentrification, people don't talk about, where do the people move? They get displaced. The, uh, I mean, the people who, I mean, Harlem, I mean, that's, that's the American cultural capital of African Americans. And it's not like that anymore. I mean, the, 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 Bed, the Bedford Stuyvesant, and Bedside Do or Die in the film Do the Right Thing. It's not like in there anymore. Uh, D.C. used to be called Chocolate City. Now it's Vanilla Swirl. <laughs> you know, so we really have to come up San Francisco. I mean, 
with all those tech things. You can't even people even Oakland is being gentrified. So where do people go? Of, where do people move? I mean, the thing I love New York, but you have to be rich. To you got it. You can't. If you don't have any money, where do you go? Where do you go? Especially New York. New York City for me, a great city is always defined by the artists that come there and that you cultivate. But if a young artist. You can't afford to live in New York City. No, anymore. this is San Francisco has the same issue with their hospitality and their oh, yeah, cuisine and, and, issues. Oh, oh yeah, cu so. cuisine industries that chefs move to Portland, Oregon, or Seattle, or or Boise, or somewhere because they can afford to buy a a townhouse. 